Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to the May Fish and Bug Guide for Animal Crossing New Horizons. As always, this is a Northern Hemisphere guide because I'm afraid that's where I live and this is just the new fish coming uh, to the game in May and the new bugs coming to the game in May and the fish and bugs that are leaving in May as well. So this isn't a definitive guide of everything you can catch, this is just for people like me who are keeping up with their fish and bugs every month, making sure they're getting the new stuff in there. Just before we get started, I want to remind you all that we stream Animal Crossing here on the channel every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern. You can see the development of the island you're looking in front of us right now. We're building a sort of fantasy RPG style island with uh, set areas and zones for our different villages. We have like a jungle zone, a farming zone, a forest zone and all that kind of thing. Really enjoying ourselves with it and uh, it'd be great to see you there in the live streams. And also, just have a look for me and see if you've subscribed because a lot of people who watch these videos aren't and I would hate you to miss one of these at the start of every single month so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this video. Right without further ado let's have a look at first of all what's leaving in May. We have three fish leaving at the end of May so May is going to be your last chance to get hold of a loach which you can find in the river. Very easy to catch these ones. You've, I'm sure you've got lots of these by now uh, but then the other two are a little trickier. First of all the golden trout is leaving in May. I know there are still people struggling with this one quick reminder they sell for 15,000 bells so you can tell they're a rare fish you can find them on river cliff tops so there has to be a river that's not on the ground level of your island they're a medium small shadow size like a three shadow size and you can find them overnight 4 p.m in the afternoon right through till 9 a.m in the morning for your golden trout they're a tricky one to get hold of and also the oar fish uh, the oar fish is another good one another good money maker long boy 9,000 bells you can find it anywhere in the sea and it's the largest shadow size the six shadow size and it can be found all day so it's pretty easy to go just dive into the sea and get fishing um but a little bit rarer uh, those you've got to get hold of by the end of may and the only bug that is leaving us at the end of may is the mole cricket people are going to be quite happy about this one mole crickets if you don't know ever heard a cricket in the game and you can't see where it's coming from it's underground the mole cricket is uh, they don't sell for very much they fill up the spawn table so it makes it even more difficult to farm tarantulas or scorpions uh, but if you ever hear a rumbling cricket noise go, go do around have a look around you can dig in the ground and you'll be able to dig up a mole cricket they are leaving at the end of the May, at the end of May, excuse me, which to be honest with you, I am quite thankful for. Uh, right, let's start with your fish for May. We are going to group them by areas today. There are two fish to catch in the pond. The first one being a frog, not technically a fish, and also a little weird considering there are frog villagers in the game. I, this is kind of a goofy Pluto kind of thing. But anyway, uh, you can catch frogs. Very easy to catch. They're the small shadow size or the number two shadow size and uh, they only sell for 120 bells. You're going to be finding a lot of these. They can be found all day in ponds. Nice easy catch that one. Next one's a little trickier. The catfish sells for a little more. 800 bells these ones sell for. Again, find them in the ponds. Uh, medium large size. So that's like a four large size. And these ones are a nighttime fish. 4 p.m. Uh, in the afternoon right through till 9 a.m. in the morning you're going to be able to find yourself a catfish in the pond. Moving on to the river then, no clifftop river specific fish uh, coming new in May. All these can be found in any river, any moving water basically on the island, moving fresh water. Uh, first one is the nibble fish, uh, small fish, tiny in fact, a, a number one size. They sell for 1500 bells, not bad, and uh, they can be found throughout the day. So 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. you're going to be able to get yourself a nibble fish. Next up is the angelfish. Uh, these ones a little bit better. These sell for 3,000 bells. They're a small fish. That's the number two size if we're working on like a one through to six scale. Again, found in flowing rivers. Uh, these ones are the opposite times to the nibblefish. This is 4 p.m. in the afternoon right through till 9 a.m. in the morning. Next up is your beta, or I think it's beta or better. I'm not too sure. They're the ones with the really pretty uh, fan-like fins at the back. Two and a half thousand bells they sell for. Again, they're found in fresh water. Water, rivers they're a small size a number two size and they can be found throughout the day 9 a.m until 4 p.m 
for your baiters. And the last one, Rainbow Fish. Sounds amazing, comes out, and it basically looks like a little sardine. Uh, only sells for 800 bells. Uh, a tiny fish, number one on the size there. Again, through the day, 9 a.m. till 4 p.m., you're going to be able to catch yourself a rather disappointing, honestly, Rainbow Fish. And then we've got a couple of new big hitters coming to the pier this month. You're going to be able to catch yourself a giant Trevally? Trevally? I'm really not sure on pronunciation. Apologies for that one. Four and a half thousand bells this one sells for and can be found exclusively from the pier it's a large shadow size a number five shadow size but can be found all day just to remind you then the pier the small wooden outcrop that you have somewhere on the left or the right side of your island is going to count as a pier also uh, we now know that the dodo plain uh, runway bits of wood as well they also class as piers so you're going to be able to catch these off the pier of the airport in your island and also where the plane lands in nook miles islands as well that classes as pier as long as you're fishing off the uh, the wood area there you're gonna be able to class that as pier you're gonna be able to catch yourself a giant trevally for four and a half thousand bells and then the big one unfortunately wasn't able to catch this one for you i i try not to time travel much in my game i've time traveled just one day ahead to try and catch all of these to get the footage for you but wasn't able to get myself a mahi mahi beautiful tropical fish six thousand bells it sells for again it's a large number five size can be found all day and again exclusively from pier area so exclusively off those wooden platforms uh, but a beautiful fish in real life sure it looks great in the game as well uh, but unfortunately i haven't quite got one yet Moving on to the bane of blathers, and that is your bugs. Uh, nothing really crazy as far as catching them goes here, but some really nice, pretty bugs coming to the game in May. You definitely tell that the game is warming up a little bit, uh, that the summer months are coming, some really pretty butterflies and dragonflies. Uh, first off, again, it will go through the different locations. So for flying bugs, these are basically just flying around the island, wandering around, nowhere specific area. They'll just be flying around. Sometimes Sometimes they'll land on flowers so if you've got lots of flowers they may spawn closer to them uh, but otherwise they're just sort of flapping about they all sell for good money and they're all personally pretty tricky to find i spent most of the day looking for all of these and i think i just found the one each of them which i'm showing you the footage of now first of all is the great purple emperor beautiful purple butterfly there it sells for three thousand bells and can be found quite early in the morning 4 a.m through until 7 p.m really lovely looking butterfly uh, well worth getting yourself one of those for the museum next up uh, is the queen alexandra's birdwing this one was tricky i mean really tricky i genuinely just saw a single one of these in a whole day of trying to farm these things up um it sells for four thousand bells uh, and it can be found from 8 a.m in the morning until 4 p.m in the afternoon tricky one that one but well worth getting beautiful butterfly next up is the banded dragonfly these things move uh, you thought the other dragonflies were quick in the game this one is so speedy i mean just look at this footage here of me trying to <laughs> it makes me look so awful trying to catch this thing four and a half thousand bells these ones sell for well worth grabbing if you see one flying shooting past you uh, they can be found throughout the daytime eight a.m. in the morning until 5 p.m. So if you're anything like me and you were quite enjoying farming tarantulas for cash, you pretty much hated water bugs coming in last month. Uh, bad news for you folks. Two more water spawning bugs are now in the game. Really awful these ones because they're very difficult to scare. Well, they can't be scared off basically. You're catching them uh, or you're ignoring them, but basically they fill up the spawn table for these bugs. It's made, basically made tarantula farming impossible to do. Although saying that tarantula farming ended yesterday anyway because the tarantulas are no longer in the game but there are scorpions in the game we're going to talk about those in a moment and they're basically identical but you can't manufacture you can't really manufacture ma uh, scorpion or tarantula islands at the moment due to all of these water bugs uh, the only one you can really do it on is bamboo island but some of the spawn rates of these uh, bugs have been uh, nerfed anyway so it's really off the cards at the minute anyway i digress pond skaters quite tricky to see these ones very little very thin uh, it took me quite a while to find this one but i don't think it's because there was a lack of them Just just because I was really struggling to spot them. So here you can see what they actually look like. It might help you find them a little quicker. They only sell for 130 bells. Uh, they're on fresh water. So that's ponds and rivers, basically. And they can be found most of the day, 8 a.m. through to 7 p.m. 
basically ignore these. Catch one for bladders and then you can pretty much ignore them. Uh, same goes for the diving beetle, uh, only worth 800 bells each. And again, 8 a.m. till 7 p.m. on any fresh water, ponds, rivers, you'll find yourselves pond skaters and diving beetles. Catch one for bladders walk on next one's an interesting one this one can be found on tree stumps and it is a violin beetle genuinely looks like a violin these things are crazy in real life they really look like this as well they don't sell for much though 450 bells but they can be found all day 24 hours a day you can find yourself a violin beetle that goes for the next one as well another tree stump bug uh, but these ones are a bit rarer and they sell for 3,000 bells beautiful sort of blue colored uh, one this one the Rosalia Batesi beetle uh, again, you'll find these occasionally on stumps all day, 24 hours a day. I recommend if you're trying to farm these ones or trying to find these ones, you're going to you're gonna have better luck at night time because the spawn table is much smaller at night time. Uh, you've just got a couple of moths really hanging around. Most other things uh, despawn around 6 or 7 p.m. So if you're really struggling to find this one, this one took me a little while to find. If you're really struggling to find it, have another look at night time. You will find it a little easier. And then finally, the scorpion. Unfortunately, I haven't got any footage of me catching one of these yet. I've got very little open space on my island now and these spawn on plain grass open space so uh, not getting many of these spawned um, and also I wasn't really willing to try and do a Nook Miles Island to make it happen whilst I was uh, time traveling because again I don't really like to time travel much I just wanted to get some of the footage ready for you here so you're looking at tarantula footage here because they're basically identical tarantulas uh, disappeared last night scorpions come on and take their place they sell for the same amounts 8,000 bells they spawn in the same spot plain open ground they are uh, spawning in the same time 7 p.m till 4 a.m they are basically tarantulas with scorpion suits on there they are identical so if you're already finding a spot that tarantulas spawn nicely for you or, or you're still going out and, and working on bamboo islands you'll be able to find yourself the exact same thing with scorpions and also the uh, the tarantula island that can actually spawn in the game the one that uh, that just constantly generates tarantulas uh, that's now going to become a scorpion island but otherwise again works exactly the same scorpions all the time they run up to you they knock you out uh, but otherwise they're, they're good fun if you can get get a handle on them they're really still good money eight thousand uh, remember flick is around he'll buy all of these at one and a half times the price so you're talking twelve thousand for one of those bad boys uh, same with the fish if cj's around he'll buy all of those fish for one and a half times personally i've got to a point now where i'm earning enough money uh, with my day-to-day -day stuff and turnips and stuff that I don't really need to sell any of my bugs or fish straight away. So all of these go into storage now and I just keep them in the in the, in the the storage in my house until CJ or Flick turns up. Uh, you'll find them just wandering around your island. Flick is a chameleon and CJ is, I think, a beaver maybe or an otter. I think probably a beaver makes the most sense, I guess. And, uh, and both of those will buy these respectively at one and a half times. Awesome, there's your May update. Uh, if you're just on the channel for these, I'll see you in June. <laughs> uh, if you're interested in seeing the island develop and coming and being a part of the community, uh, you can find me streaming every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Until the next one, be good.